What is going on everybody and welcome back once again. My name is Jordan, also known as J Monster. Thank you for joining me for another episode of our Elven Dominion campaign. When we left off last time, um, actually I can't remember where we left off last time, but what we're going to do this time around is kick a lot of ass. As you can see here, Langvik is now able to be retaken. There's a large relief force being sent by Rovanion towards the city to try and, uh, and hold the line, but we're not going to let them do that. In fact, we are going to fall back there, most of our troops. Uh, it's a tiny garrison in there, so I think that if we attack by assault, we can just auto-resolve this. Indeed, we can. And so we will. And so at long last, Langvik has been reclaimed for the Elven Dominion. Uh, let's go ahead and outline Dominion. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that's not sticking around any longer. Uh, and a palisade. God, they really, they really let the place go. I'm pretty sure I had walls the last time I was here. And, uh... Yeah, it's quite the nightmare. So we have Langvik back now. Uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm actually going to begin to do in the future generally, is that someone has pointed out to me that if you disband units within a province, the, um, the remaining units in that unit, really redundant there, uh, they go back into the recruitment pool. So for example, if I do this, you can see we've got 103 in there, and a population of 417. Bam. A lot more population. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to exploit this very often to get a whole bunch of Elven units, uh, but it does seem like a more efficient use of my resources in order to. Um, it does seem like a more efficient use of my resources, just generally. That's going to allow me to to field some more Elven units, which is nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make another unit of um, Gladrim warriors there, and that's gonna leave us open for a third unit in the near future. Now again. I'm not normally going to disband full strength Elven units and use them to create Elven units because I think that that's kind of cheesy. So I'm not going to do that. The only reason I did it this time around was just for the purpose of demonstration. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have some uh, some Gladden Warriors coming out of Karis Galavon, which is very appropriate. Uh, over on this end, same deal. Got seven Woodmen here. I'm going to send them towards Rivendell, and uh, we'll disband them in there. Let's see, we got 25 Elven scouts in the area. Uh, what we could do is uh, no, we'll hold on to them. They're still at a reasonable level that they could be useful, uh, so we won't uh, we won't uh, disband them just yet. Uh, but we, what we're, but like I said, what we're going to do is just um, send cripple units to uh, to retirement, basically in areas that we need population. So otherwise, otherwise, um, the city of Ettendale here is going to fall in a couple of turns to us. I don't want to assault the walls. I don't have enough um, I don't have enough bodyguard here to really make that worth it, and. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose some of my more elite elven units. We can Noldor Swords, for example. Don't want to auto-resolve in battles with Noldor Swords. You will lose them uh, really, really quickly. So we're going to send them back to Rivendell afterwards and, uh, and retrain them. Up here, Bree. Bree's going to be mine. What I'm going to do? Take these units. Back them off. Attack Bree. We'll do that in the next turn. We'll take that from them. Meanwhile, the relief force is nearby in the event that they are attacked. And, um, looks like the Shire is slowly starting to recover, which is great news. Well, I think they've broken uh, the agreements they had with us previous, but that's alright. So let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. And we'll see what the new season brings us. Um, I'm thinking, oh my goodness. So some of the forces there from, uh, from Ovanion have actually broken off, and they're now laying siege to Amon Lank which will not stand for very long. So what we need to do pretty well immediately... Well, let's put these guys in there first. We got a nice little army there. It's not bad, right? Uh, and let's see. Some mariners. Do I want mariners? Yes. Yes, I do. Got enough spears there. And then we'll be able to send this uh, this relief army out into the wild, wide world of Middle-earth and use it to take some settlements or uh, defend ourselves from the cultists of Dunabar. So they're on their last legs up here in the north, and we should be able to eradicate them, I think, in a few turns. But now, on to pressing matters. Where are they at? Yeah, you think you can assault my Langwag garrison and I'm not going to do anything about it? We have no choice but to attack these guys immediately. Uh, it's a lot of cav, not a lot of archers. We may be able to scatter them. And after that, we're going to uh, move towards Amon Lake. Hopefully, we can get there in a turn or two and uh, and lift the siege. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fight this, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. So um, they kind of just ran away. So I, I'm going to cut that out, since all it was was them fleeing immediately for the border, which uh, is going to free up this army to move in and defend Amon Lake. We should be able to get there in the next turn, so hopefully they're not attacked. If they are, it's probably not going to hold. 
Um, yeah, there's really nothing significant in there. And they've got, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. The Alvellan Watch backed up by hunters and Gladrum Scouts in a single choke point? Maybe. Maybe they got shot. Uh, but I don't really know what the Almond Link settlement looks like, so I can't, uh, I can't vouch for, uh, for their viability against an army of that size. So let's go ahead. I think it's fair to pass the turn. Just one moment. Oh no. No, no, no. We have this that we want to deal with, don't we? Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Breeze now mine. Beautiful. I'm going to occupy it. Move my garrison into there. Uh, let's see. Now everyone there can move out immediately and head towards the city of three ways. So we're going to go and lay siege to that. And we may be able to just leapfrog the way that we have been, just using our elven bodyguards to take that from them. I just feel a little bit cheap, but honestly, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad in the slightest. Uh, and I really don't want to attack the walls of uh, a city that's got that many ballistas and pretty much nothing but archers and a few swordsmen to get in my way. So that would be a disaster, I think, for our troops if we were to assault the walls. So we're just going to continue to do our thing with our elven bodyguards. And, uh, yeah, we'll just we'll slowly bleed these guys and, uh, and take all their remaining holdings. And then we can begin to focus on reclaiming Gondor for the Free Peoples of Middle-earth, and then eventually we'll get to the point where we can uh, attack Mordor, and that's going to be where our final uh, final battle takes place, I imagine, against Adunabar, who is the big antagonist of this campaign. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. We'll see what happens next. I think we're going to be taking Ettendale in the next turn. Uh, should be the last turn. And indeed we are! Beautiful! So there we have it. We have uh, consolidated our northern line. So Rivendell is now extremely safe from harm, which is a big improvement. I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier on in the campaign, Last Bridge was under pretty much constant assault. And if that fell, Rivendell would have been uh, swept away, I think, in about a turn or two. So this is, this is good news bears, which I, I quite enjoy. So let's take... Let's do a little bit of upkeep here. Um, and there is something we need to do here. Mustering fields, do Danic. Let's get rid of that. Boom. Uh, a rogue. Oh, it's an assassin. I didn't even know the elves could get that. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty good at killing their generals already. I don't feel like I need someone to do that uh, for me. So let's see. Elven riders here. You're not really doing a whole lot. Send them back to Rivendell. Might as well use them as a uh, as an elven lancer unit a little ways down the field. So we'll get them uh, re-equipped and retrained. Uh, what do we got here? Alvel and Wardens and those Spearmen. Yeah, that's enough, I think, for the time being to take the city. Although, honestly, it's not in any, uh, any immediate danger at this point. So, maybe what we'll do... Yeah, we can use it to reinforce some of those units there. So, take them. Move them down here. And, so let's see. Let's see. Let's do that. And that. Uh, and then we will send these guys to be disbanded. Oh, no, maybe we can't do that just yet. Uh, but soon enough. That's what we'll do. And uh, we moved out of here already? I don't think we have. We have. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're ready to go. So Gilfanon of Mithlond is going to take his army. And he's going to move towards the city of Sarnford. And then we'll blitz them in the next couple of turns. And that will be the end of the uh, Cults of Dunmar in Middle Earth. Just look upon this and glory. Especially those of you who have been here for the entire campaign. We were on the back foot in a big way uh, for most of this campaign. And now, look upon my works, ye mighty and despair. And we've, uh, we've almost completely pushed the Gulf of Dunbar out. Now we're going to continue our next verbal advance over here. We're going to attack this... Uh... Ooh, there's some troops here in the woods. Wow, we're going to get them out of the way. We'll wheel back around, deal with them. Uh, and let's see, here we're going to have another battle. A lot of cavalry... Uh, nothing really significant in terms of skirmishes, however. So that's going to be an easy fight. Uh, but I'm going to show it to you guys because it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I'll have this army inde independent command upon a battlefield. We're definitely not doing that. So I will see you guys on the battlefield. So what we have here is a sexy knight battle. And I opted for a knight battle, one, because I think they look damn cool. And, uh, and two, because I don't want the smaller garrison army to potentially get isolated. It's just, they're... A they're a liability until I can bring them into the fold with the rest of my army. So, that being said, we're going to uh, exclude them from this battle. I think that that's a reasonable thing to do. Uh, put our two units of elven archers right here. Uh, actually, I guess it makes more sense 
put them a little bit farther back because they have greater range than the uh, mercenary bowmen. Put the bowmen in front. Spearmen on the side. Elven swords over here. The Tingo Skra. Uh, and we'll use these guys as a reserve force in the event that they are needed. Now that's nice and, and self contained. Let's go ahead and pop them in a group. And we'll start the battle. Yeah, I can see them over there. Look at that. Look how freaking cool that looks. Hmm. They're running again. Damn it! You guys can't run. You will die. This is like a fight or die sort of scenario. If they run, I'm pretty sure they all die. Um, I'd be really disappointed, though. We're not going to let them get away, though. No, we're going to run. We're going to run right for them. Ooh, they're stopping. Well, that's good news, bears. All right, boys, run. I don't want them to continue to retreat. It looks like uh, that might be what they're trying to do. No, they're just going to hide in the woods. That is fine. We will suss them out of their holes like rabbits. And there we are. Got ourselves in a position. Elven Archer's going to begin to open fire. Now, I love these forest battles because they are very claustrophobic and uh, quite micro-intensive because you really have to be paying attention to what you're doing. Look at this. Unit of Rovanians. A couple of units of Rovanian spearmen moving forward. Uh, let's focus on the foresters in the back, and we will allow our elven units time to do their job. And it looks like they don't see them, so let's counter charge. Yeah, you definitely came to the wrong party. They regret the decision immediately, I'm sure. Move up with the rest of our army. Alright, elven units, chase them off, reform. I gotta not get too far away ahead of ourselves. Are we shooting them? I think we are shooting them. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah, they're gonna suffer quite heavily there in that retreat. Elven units, I think, are back in position, so we're good. Yeah, I definitely don't want to pursue. That looks like, I don't know, maybe a feint on the part of the AI, which would be really impressive, to be perfectly honest. I don't expect that kind of, uh, that kind of clever tactics. From the from the AI has traditionally been quite quite thick, dumb as a bag of rocks. Romanian spearmen over here. Let's continue to shoot them down whilst we can. Uh, I think these two definitely have range on those Romanian scouts, which is where the general is. So let's take down the general. Let's assassinate him. And when he's uh, when he's done for, we'll surge forward, sweep away the rest of their army as the morale shock sets in, and we'll have an easy victory. Yeah, look at that. Those light scouts do not like those elven arrows. This is exactly the kind of fight that those uh, Greenwood guards, I imagine, excel at. Fighting in the forest, they're definitely in their element. Yeah, not too much longer for those Iranian scouts. I'm gonna take down that general. I'm gonna pop these guys. There we are. There you have it. So now we're going to move forward with the rest of the army. I'm going to rush forward, deal with these guys, continue to pepper them down as best we can. Uh, that front line's looking real thin. Uh, let's see, what do they got in terms of ranged units left? I don't think they've got anything. Uh, the Iranian foresters, I think they're javelin units, so we'll focus on them. That's probably the best thing that we can do. I'll have them go after those scouts. Uh, skip so you can do this. Hold on a second, my audio just turned off. That's so fun. Got over here. Occupy them. Yeah, our spears are going to get in there. That's going to be ugly. Uh, shoot down those Romanian scouts. Actually, hold on. We got some flankers over there. Get the march wardens. And move these guys up here guys around. Looks like they're trying to break through. We've got some threshold troops here, some spear units. Let's move them forward now that they've taken the bait and uh, surrounded that elven spear unit. Gonna try and save that general if we can. And we'll have them sally forward. Actually, no, hold on. Get on the line. Uh, and you can move over with them. That's probably the best thing. Yeah, we're going to push that back. And these guys still shooting at. Get those Iranian scouts in the, in the back. Of it. Actually, no, the march wardens. They still need to die. Yeah, they're the biggest threat, I think, because they're actually trying to flank us. Uh, we've got some routing here in the main line. Yeah, those 
of any scouts can charge into our count into our infantry. It's gonna be ugly for them. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All the way down the line here. You know what? Perhaps perhaps we have a new thumbnail. I quite like that. And you can see the Romanian army now beginning to crumble. Some scouts fleeing in a panic. There we are. Beautiful. Let's get the army forward. Move them together in formation. Have them all reform. Move up our archers. Commensurate with that. Yeah. Let's consolidate here. We've taken really light casualties. Uh, on the battle line, you can see a lot of dead horses. I think that's because they got themselves entangled with our spears. Bad news for them. Yeah, let's get those scouts. Oh yeah, they're going to charge right into those spears. That's not going to go well for you guys at all. Yeah, look at that. Look at the murder. Let's try to get in behind them with the elven swords. Ah, and that's the end of the battle. So we're going to continue. Try and run them down if we can. Yeah, shoot them the last of these Romanian scouts. Use the last of our elven archers' am ammunition. Beautiful. Yeah, this is definitely the kind, it's claustrophobic and crazy, but this is the kind of fighting I imagine our units excel in. I mean, we've got woodmen, we've got uh, woodland elves, sylvan elves, things like that. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely in our favor. All right, that does it for them. Let's go ahead, take a look at the casualty screen, see what the damage is. Now, we lost 51. I think a lot of those were either General's Bodyguard or the Woodman, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys back on the campaign. Bam. So the Siege of Amon Lake lifted before it really started. We move back over here. Try and, uh, try and deal with the forces of Lieutenant Sam. It's a very, very immersive name there. Uh, and he's got Axemen. Yeah, this is the army that ran away from us previously. So we should not have any troubles destroying them, I would imagine. Um, and then after that, look at this. We'll be able to reclaim Fjordfeld. Uh, we'll push back the, um... The forces of Romanion, and maybe what we'll do is uh, we even, we'll even push it, push out, push out as far as the mid deeping. Although that might be an overextension, so I don't think I'll do that. Uh, maybe what I'll do instead is um, is uh, take Fjordfeld, and then we'll we'll hold off there for a little while, and um, I don't know. Maybe we could launch some some raids down here into into what used to be Rohan, and take back some of these lightly defended fortresses. You can see our spy has. Uh, has so conveniently revealed for us. Now, up here, what do we got? Three ways? Yeah, we'll take these guys. Fall back with them. I think we should be able to take this with no problems, indeed. Nobody has died. Three ways is now ours. Beautiful. Uh, which means that... Still, no, it's a homeland. I do know ours. Let's get rid of that. Uh, restore all of that. And we'll slowly begin to build that city back. I don't think we've done the same in Bree either. Um, so, let's see. Elven Realm, Dunedanic. Uh, homelands, Adunabar. Take that away from them. You no longer have a homeland. It's mine now. Uh, repair all of that. Bring you guys in there. And then we'll move over with Gilfanon's forces, who actually can't move. And then we'll be able to take Sarnford. And that's the last holdout. Sarnford is all that remains of Adunabar in the north. Now, maybe they have some uh, some armies and things like that that are skulking around. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too too big of a deal when it comes to hunting them down and dealing with them. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much all that we can do for the turn. Now, do I want to... I definitely want some more elven archers, so I'm going to take... Gliding Scouts out here, now that they're not really all that needed. I'm pop them down. Uh, I'm on Lank. Ooh, can make some Gliding Warriors here too, that's really cool. Um, could disband these guys, I don't know. They're, they're still pretty still pretty um, high up in terms of their useless usefulness, because they have a lot of troops still left, so I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to be tempted into the ease of getting Elven units now that I know this. Uh, so I'm going to try and control myself a little bit. So uh, we pass the turns here. What? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
You gotta be joking me. Oh, good thing I got my elves out of there then. Provincial pacification. Do they like... Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so they haven't destroyed anything. Elven lands, Lord's Tower. Shrine of Gilthonia. Okay, so they haven't destroyed any of my uh, my cultural buildings, so that's good. I think. Other than the principal pacification. Oh man, that really sucks. I can't believe that. Hmm. That makes me happy. So that uh, delays us a little bit there. That is okay. Um, three ways. Looking good. Uh, the Kingdom of Tharbad. Now, how significant are they? Now, if I defeat them... I will be able to um, consolidate my hold on pretty well the entirety of Northern Middle-earth, which is what I want, ultimately. Um, so I'm not going to attack the dwarves, because I kind of like them. I like having my pet dwarves, but maybe that will come back to bite me in the butt a little bit later. Uh, so I'm going to attack Adunabar, and so once we deal with them, we'll probably turn around and deal with the Shire. Because there's no reason for them to, to have these two settlements in the middle of our territory. Um, and then we pretty well control the entirety of Middle-earth, or the north of Middle-earth, aside from what the dwarves still have. And then we can maybe focus on taking things like, uh, like Karndoom a little bit farther up here. We got over here, Kingdom of Dale. That's still pretty significant. They're holding out well. I don't want to piss them off too much. Yeah, I'd like to have them as my allies. That's, that's preferable. Um, so I think that's all that came down for this turn. So let's go ahead and let's pass it. And see what the new season brings us. What is this? Cheatum of Dunland. Accept, or we will attack. Um, you really don't scare me. I've just beaten a Dunabar. What do you think you can do to me? Probably not much. I'm going to decline the current proposal. Go ahead and attack. See what happens to you. I will burn your empire down around your ears. Uh, what do we got here? We're actually being attacked. What do you know? So maybe they'll be nice and aggressive and they'll come to us. Uh, but of course we're going to fight this, so I will see you guys on the battlefield. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit more intense because they're going to come and fight us for once, which is it's a nice change of pace, honestly. I'm pleased by this. Uh, so let's set ourselves up in this beautiful little forest land. Uh, standard kind of formation. And as they advance, they're going to do so into a hail of well-shot arrows. Shot by the Elven Marksman. And uh, these guys. Uh, let's see. Most of our army is actually going to be hidden, so they're not going to know what they're dealing with. Uh, elven Swords over on this end. These guys in the back as reserve units. As you do. Mm, don't spread them out that much? Probably not. It takes a while for them to reform and move, so let's do that instead. Um, ooh, yeah. Forgot that we had these guys. Thank God we, we pulled them out of the wreckage of, um, of Amon Lake, which I can't believe it's been bribed. I think I got bribed a second time, too, from what I saw on the map. So, there we are. Everyone in formation. Bring it. Bring it, Rovanion. I will make you pay for the inconvenience you have caused me. Look at that. They are actually going to attack us. Look the rate that they're moving. They look like they're they're tired, perhaps? I don't know. I don't think that that's those kinds of things, like marching stances, are a thing in Medieval 2, so they're probably not tired. It would not be safe to assume that they are. It's a fair amount of infantry. It's that cavalry, though, that I'm genuinely... Holy crackers! It's a lot of cav. It's really a lot of cav. Um, but we will be able to deal with them, I am very sure. So what we're going to do is perhaps... Maybe switch things up a little bit. We'll have our threshold old troops go over there. Uh, and take up the duty of holding this flank um, with the uh, mercenary axemen right there. Pop those guys over to the flank, and now we've got a serious amount of infantry there to deal with just about anything they can throw at us. So we're getting pretty close. Ah! Ah! Normal speed. There we go. Yeah, some horsemen here getting a little bit too far forward. They're going to get themselves shot down. Looks like a screening force. Uh, let's see. You guys need to run, because otherwise that flank's going to be completely undefended. Yeah, we're going to have to watch that. Yeah, they're getting gunned down there by our elven archers. 
presence of the Spearman is going to make them maybe change their minds. It's going to prove to be a very costly sally. And they're well ahead of the rest of the army. So it's pretty much them. Just them. We can focus all of our fire and all of our attention on um, these March Wardens and things like that. And they're just going to continue to get peppered down. And uh, I'm not too worried about using up the ammunition on these guys. Honestly, the Cav is what I would have targeted anyway. And our infantry, especially our Elven bodyguards, is more than capable of dealing with their footmen. So, again, not really worried. Yeah, look at that. It's a lot of dead horsemen. Alright, boys. Move it up. Move it up. Move forward. Now, let's see. Let's see where the rest of their army is. Looks like... Maybe they're changing their minds. No? No, they're moving in with their infantry now. So we're just going to continue to shoot these guys down. Um, get them as weak as possible so they really don't pose a threat any longer to our flanks. Now, the mercenary area are bowmen. They're going to have a new target pretty quickly, I think. Oh, no. Look at these guys. I mean, do something. Decide on a course of action there. And take it. Otherwise, you're just going to get shot to death. Beautiful. Yeah, most of the scout units have been shut down. It's a lot of cavalry, but they do have reinforcements coming in in the form of another two or three units, I think, of the Romanian scouts. Yeah, and there's some March Wardens mixed in there as well. I don't really know the capabilities of each. I just know that they die like dogs. And ultimately, that's all that matters. Okay. Now let's, let's have them stop. So we are actually using a lot of ammunition really quickly. And I'm pretty content with the work that we've done here. Like, look at this. It's a lot of dead horses. Most of those advanced units have been shot to pieces. Mm, let's take these two. Yeah, I'll hit those March Wardens as they come in, since they're heavy cav. I'll hit them as well. And I think these guys are close enough to uh, hit these guys as well. So let's continuously shoot down these heavy cavias since they're now the biggest danger. The rest of the Ravan Ravanian army taking their time. Got some axemen here in the front line. A lot of spearmen. Ooh, more cav on the other end too. This is gonna be uh, this be very ugly. Uh, I may since I ooh I'm getting shot a little bit. They actually have some archers. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Move these guys over to this end. Because otherwise, I think we might find ourselves overwhelmed. That's a lot of cav. Hold on now. Where are these archers coming from? Where are those archers? I haven't seen any archers. They, might, they must be mounted bowmen or something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure where that missile fire is coming from. Maybe we're hitting our own troops. Oh no. I see. I see. Ravanian nobles. Well, let's shoot them down. Got any ammo left? No, you don't. Maybe a volley or two would be enough to kill these guys. Come on. And we are officially out of ammunition, and there's seven of them left. Ah! Tragedy. That's really their only uh, only skirmish units, though. All right, so we're gonna get attacked on the flank there. They're actually moving in with their infantry. Let's see what's happening on this end. This is where things look real ugly. Now they don't see those woodmen, so we're gonna surprise them. Uh, and where are my swords? They're in there as well. So as they all pile in against those axes, we're going to attack them on the flank with those uh, with those swordsmen. And, oof. Still got a lot of cavalry, though. Looks like those March Wardens over there are still going to be a problem. So we're going to have to watch this flank very, very closely. Elsewhere on the front lines, though, we're doing we're doing good work. We're doing Iluvatar's work. Should we have to deal with them? Uh, Spears holding well. Now let's deploy... Maybe time to do this. 
We got some scouts over there. Let's try and engage them. We'll disengage from the uh, from the fight against the horsemen here who are fleeing. <clears throat> we may want to uh, move forward with our elven axes now. We begin to cut down these Ravanian scouts. I'm pretty sure these guys have like a, a bonus versus cavalry. Oop. Don't want to charge too much though. That does leave a gap in our line. Um, hmm. Well, now that we are crushing them over here, we may be able to uh, to reform and protect our archers a little bit better. So let's do that. Just try and keep them alive. Over here, let's see. Yeah, those axemen are really having a bad time. Over on this end, we're not faring too much better. Those axemen have been caught out by those camp. But we'll have another unit of axemen to throw in there against them. Um, yeah, these guys will cut those guys up. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's flank those riders with our spearmen. Otherwise, those axes are going to melt away real fast. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, we got things in amongst our archers. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Although I can, I guess, fall back with some of these Greenwood scouts. Yeah, those Galadrim scouts are really not having a good time right now. I'd rather these bowmen die, though. So we're going to use them as a buffer. Uh, let's see how we're doing over here. It's very chaotic. Uh, swords are attacked basically on all sides now. It's no bueno. Yeah, it's glad these uh, Greenwood Axemen can come in from the rear and wipe out those Iranian scouts. Luckily, these guys have now taken the brunt of that, so our uh, our Galadrim scouts have been spared. Now, how are we doing elsewhere? It's very chaotic in here. I can tell exactly what's happening. Iranian scouts, I think they're trying to follow us. Uh, move in with the Elven Swords, trap that unit, kill it. And just slowly destroy them piecemeal. Counter charge here, Revenian. Uh, March Wardens. They get themselves cut down. Uh, over here we have been victorious from the looks of things. Send these troops crashing into the side. Actually, no, we don't need uh, those Revenian X-Men. They're, they're not a threat, so we'll deal with them. I think that's most of their army at this point. Looks like... Somebody has definitely got a little bit far ahead of themselves now that some of our fleeing woodmen. Oh, these guys, though. A couple of generals' bodyguard units here. Now let's hack down those March Wardens. I don't think there's too much left of Ravania at this point. We've done a reasonable job at repelling that huge amount of cavalry, although we did lose most of our wood woodsmen in the process. Not too worried about it. Let's trap these guys. Let's get those scouts. Yeah, if we lose our mercenary bowmen, no big deal. They're going to hold those guys in, in place long enough for the Greenwood scouts to come up behind them and route them. Good stuff. Yeah, it got a little bit messy near the end there, but honestly, I think most of the lives we lost were our, uh, our less important human units. Human lives do not matter. They're cheap. Elven lives, on the other hand. Don't have a lot of those. What we got here? Looks like some forces managed to hold it together. You know, the March Wardens. They're going to uh, beat a hasty retreat. I'm pretty sure that they're just going to flee all the way off the map along with these guys as well. That's most of the Rovanian forces that perished in a very intense battle under the canopy of, uh, of Southern Mirkwood. I love it. I love good battles like this, especially the forest battles. It's, just, it's such a challenge to try and keep everything together when you can't uh, see the battlefield clearly at all. All right, well, let's regroup and reform, and continue to pursue them off the uh, off the field entirely. There we go. Solid victory indeed. Go ahead and end the battle because we're not going to catch anybody. They're too far ahead of us. Uh, we lost 332, but most of that, honestly, it was our axes. Uh, we may get some of them back as well. So that was beautiful. I loved it. I love forest battles. Like I said, they're a nice, solid challenge. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit different, I think, than the right than the field battles that we fight pretty well on the regular. All right, so some more Ravanian reinforcements moving in to try and take that territory back from us, and it looks like our settlement did get poached yet again. Uh, candidate for adoption, you say? Well, that sounds really nice. I think that's him. A nail of the comb, which is cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Occupy it again. Continue to do this again. Oh, they've been getting rid of things. Damn it! 
Oh, that's irritating. Oh, never mind. That's just uh, things that have to be repaired. I see. I see. Uh, so we will leave. We have to leave something here, and that's the part that I don't like. Uh, we have to leave one of our bodyguards, or we'll, or we'll just have to hold up an Amon Lank and wait for some reinforcements to cross from the, uh, from the western half of Middle-earth, which I think we'll, we'll probably do with Gilfanion. I think that makes the most sense. Um, speaking of that, we're going to uh, besiege that until it submits to us, so that'll be nine turns from now. And what do we got here? Three ways. These guys now have a new governor, which is cool. Uh, so I need to figure out where Dunland is. Oh, that's them right there. Well, looks like they've actually taken that territory from the Kingdom of Tharbad. And so, well, I said they were going to attack us. Eh, let's attack them. I feel, I feel confident that we could, we could crush them completely and utterly. Uh, get ourselves some mercenary bowmen. It's always nice. Which gives us an okay contingent of bows. Not the greatest, though. And, uh, yeah, let's open up a new front here. I guess it unlendings. They threatened me with death and fire. And so we will bring destruction to their lands. Uh, let's maintain that siege. I want them to come out and attack me in a field battle. Like, I, I can beat them in a field battle using pretty well just my bodyguard. So I have to all sit in a corner and I'll just let them break themselves on my shield wall. Uh, over here. Let's move down this way. Oh wow, Tharbad pretty well doesn't exist anymore. Maybe they got destroyed already too. Uh, yeah, they might be gone. Maybe that happened like ages ago and I just forgot about it. What do we got up here? Nothing else that we've done. Carpenters, always important. What we've done here in Harlons. Abelian Foresters, always nice. Let's do that. Some more Elvelin Guard. Beautiful. But that's been quite a lot for the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. And I hope, we, hope you will see fit to join me in our next episode, which will be... It might be for a little while. Um, well, surely won't be the, the six or like five month break or whatever that we took previous to this. Um, but there are a few other things that I want to focus on. Namely, uh, Warhammer campaigns and replays and things like that. So, until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye!